What's up you guys? This is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Calves coming at you with yet another video. And in this one I'll be covering something that the less than I would consider attractive Charlize Theron said at a live, uh, I guess you could say transgender town hall. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it. But as you can see here from the title it says, Fast X actress Charlize Theron promotes drag queens, th uh, threatens I will F anybody up who is like trying to F with any of you guys. Okay. <clears throat> and is it really a surprise? She's probably one of the farthest left Hollywood actresses out there. Every single one of her kids, no not every single one of her kids, one of her children who at the age of three, decided to say that she was actually a he or he was actually a she. she I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember. And, and she just transitioned her kid at three years old. Three years old! This kid doesn't even know what diapers mean in the long run. You know, this kid doesn't even know how to properly poo or pee their pants. This kid would probably wet their bed. And she's saying, yeah, for sure, we're going to just chop off your genitals and make you the opposite gender based off of you playing with a different type of toy than I would expect from you. <laughs> Actress Charlie Theron, who reprises her role as Cypher in the upcoming Fast X film, recently promoted Drag Queens for Children's Entertainment and issued a threat to anyone opposing her. Theron made an appearance on the Drag Isn't Dangerous telethon that was held on May 7th to raise funds for a variety of organizations including GLAD, G-L-S-E-M, Headcount, Black Queer Town Hall, ACLU, Trans Justice Founding Project, and the LGBTQ Plus Victory Institute. So there was a town hall that was all about saying that drag queens and transgenders and all these other people who do these perverted things around children and dance in front of children and jiggle and gyrate their genitals in front of children. There was this whole thing like, oh, no, it's totally normal. It's totally fine. We're, we don't have to worry about any of this. It was previously reported by Rolling Stone that Theron signed on to take part in the telephone back in April. Others who took part included Lex Luthor, actor Jesse Eisenberg, Amy Schumer, Leslie Jones, and Sarah Silverman. Well, none of that's surprising. <clears throat> During the broadcast, Theron said, We love you, queens. We are in your corner, and we've got you. And I will F anybody up who is, like, trying to F with anything with you guys. And I just want to say, that is a very, very thinly veiled threat um, that she's threatening physical harm against individuals who happen to want kids to not be over-sexualized at a super young age and have some level-headed sense of morality in the world. And she's like, no, I'm going to try to kill everyone, everyone who disagrees with me on this point. <laughs> That's Charlie Theron. That's my impersonation of Charlie Theron, a crazy woman who doesn't know what she's talking about. And... <laughs> I'm not sure I would actually take this threat seriously if she came up to me because she probably has this delusion that she's like the atomic blonde character in her movie who can actually fight against people who are twice her size and weight. And in reality, that's probably the most absurd possible outcome is her having victory with, you know, throwing some kicks around and using her heels to fight somebody. That's probably her concept of what actual violence is. And... If anyone were to come after any average conservative, I think that average conservative would probably be able to defend themselves against someone like a Charlize Theron, okay? So it's a very, very weak threat behind a very, very thinly veiled threat that implies that she is willing to do massive physical harm to someone who doesn't want people to cut off kids' genitals. Theron continued, In all seriousness, there's so many things that are hurting and, and really killing our kids. And we all know what I'm talking about right now, and it ain't not, and it ain't not drag queen. She doesn't even know how to speak. Because have you ever seen a drag queen lip sync for her life? It only makes you happier. It only makes you love more. It only makes you a better person. No, it, it literally melts your brain cells off because you're seeing this complete idiocy take place in front of your eyes. She then asked for money. Because they gotta fund the jiggling, gyrating child molesters. 
Listen, please, please support all the great organizations that are out there helping all this nonsense go away like it should. All of these incredibly stupid policies. Bye! No more room for hate, only love, and love equals drag queens. What the heck is she saying? 90% of what she says is a complete stream of consciousness that is masked by drugs and alcohol. I mean, <laughs> she's just like, love equals drag queens, bro! Love equals drag queens. Just in the middle of her sent just oh gosh, I'm getting stupider looking at this. I'm getting stupider reading her own words. Charlie's Theron is not an intelligent person. Charlie's Theron is someone who was given a break in Hollywood because she was probably willing to service a couple of people in Hollywood, which is how most people get their break in Hollywood. I mean, it's probably the same thing with Ezra Miller. Johnny Depp probably had something similar happen. I mean, look at the guy that everyone praised for 700,000 years or whatever, and then as soon as he was revealed to be this predator, they turned their backs on him. Everyone who goes into Hollywood is taken advantage of in some sort of sexual way. That That... They are perverted because they think, oh, if, if this is not normal behavior, then that means that something was horrific was done to me and that I did something horrific to someone else. That's that's the basic problem here. That's the basic situation that you've got with these Hollywood celebrities is that they would have to realize that there was real evil done to them and that they have done real evil to others for what what happened back in the day. Right? <clears throat> Catholic League President Bill Donahue notes, Even events such as Drag Queen Story Hour were founded to promote an agenda. That's totally accurate. The goal of which is to normalize sexual behavior amongst kids. This goes on, and it's probably just going to repeat the same things that I've said already. So what I'm going to say is this. Actresses and actors in Hollywood like Charlize Theron and others, Sarah Silverman, Jesse Eisenberg, as is represented by the fact that they were taking part in this to begin with, they despise normal behavior because it's moral behavior. So anything they can do to justify their abnormal, sinful, lustful passions is going to be done and they're going to try to inflict that pain, that suffering, that evil onto younger people, onto children, onto the next generation. They're going to try as best they can to screw up the minds of the kids coming down the pipeline, being produced by the previous generation and being put into the new generation. They're going to do everything they can to destroy the minds of those young people so that they can feel better about themselves and feel as though it was just inevitable. They only wound up this way because of some sort of genetic component. That's not true. Everything that you do in life is a choice. Everything that you do is done by you choosing to do it. You go to work every day, that's because you choose to go to work. There's an incentive to, but you're choosing to go to work. You choose what you eat, you choose what you drink, you choose when you shower, you choose when you work out, you choose everything, with the exception of maybe how often it is you take a breath, or how often it is you blink, or how often your heart beats, because those are autoimmune problems. Auto, <clears throat> those are automatically regulated by the sheer grace of God. He doesn't just have us in control of our own heartbeats. It's crazy. It's crazy. You choose everything. Everything in your life is your choice. And then they say that you wanting to do unspeakable acts to children is somehow innate. It's innate in the sense that it's sin, and sin is innate. But it's not innate in the way that you exhibit your sin. And we have a massive problem with the way that people exhibit their sin in the world today. It is despicable, it is disgusting, it is horrendous, and it needs to stop. And Charlize Theron has, once again, along with many other Hollywood actors and actresses, torn back the veil and said, look at the garbage that we're trying to push into your children's heads, and they're getting angry that we're seeing through their fake bullcrap. Anyways... That's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, if you found it educational at all, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and share this video out there with your friends so 
you know, you can spread the word and you can get people to know what's going on and why the culture war is so important. Because if you don't stop people like this from doing evil things to children, you've already lost the culture war. And we have lost the culture war for a long time because we turned a blind eye to what was going on in Hollywood and other mainstream media sources <clears throat> of entertainment. But also make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss a video that I upload. And check me out on all my different socials. I leave links to those in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.